Hey guys, Aloha here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. And if you're an existing subscriber, how you doing? Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. So today I am going to be demonstrating this look right here. Super natural, to me at least. Glowy skin. And believe it or not, I did not set my makeup. And I will tell you why in a second. But today I am going to be demonstrating this look using the Temp2 Air Gun. I posted a few weeks ago me going to the Temp2 headquarters and learning a few tips and tricks from their instructor, Sylvia. And you guys were so curious. You wanted to see a YouTube video. You wanted me to demonstrate it on my YouTube channel. And so that's why I'm here today. I will mostly be using the pre-filled AirPods, but then there are a couple of instances where I use the empty cartridge that is paired with the little foundation bottles here. So uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about the different formulas, the different things that Temp2 offers, etc, etc. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I do have a code with Temp2. I didn't mention it throughout the video, but I'm going to mention it now. My code with Temp2 is Makeup by Alaha, and that will save you a good amount of money. I think it's like 15% or something. You know, when you spend a lot of money, the more you spend, the more you save. You guys get coins off. I get a small commission. We're both happy. You don't have to use my code, but I wanted to put it out there for you guys. Um, if you've been wanting to try the Temp2, this is the perfect time to do so. So yeah, if you guys want to learn how to get this look using the Temp2 Air Gun, and I'm talking contour, highlight, everything was done with the Air Gun, then please stay tuned. But before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below if you have not already, and turn on the bell notifications so you guys are notified every time I upload a new video. And without further ado, let's jump right on into this video. No, I know I look crazy. And that's okay, girl. That is okay. Because just took a shower. And now this is coming off. Ugh. There we go. Okay, so today I am going to hence the title, show you guys how to airbrush with the Temp2 AirPod Pro. Now, those of you that are not familiar with Temp2, it is an extraordinary airbrush system. They also have regular airbrush compressors that you guys have probably seen at some point in time from another brand or from this brand, but this is my new favorite. I have the traditional air compressor from Temp2. It's the Temp2 2.0, and I purchased that back in 2011, and it still works. However, to be completely transparent with you guys, I haven't used it in several years because I thought airbrush makeup was just for, like, skin. I didn't know that you could do a whole bunch of different things with it, so I'm super excited to share with you guys what I learned at one of their classes that I took at their headquarters which I'll post some details down below about that and I also have a vlog that I filmed a temp to vlog um, when we went to the class my um, me and my friend Kat um, we went to this class to kind of brush up on our airbrush skills and learn a bunch of new things like I had no idea it was I was not expecting that so in the next couple weeks I'm actually heading back to the headquarters again to take their bridal class and their advanced airbrush class and I'm super excited about that because the beginner class was a bunch of information so I know that these next two classes are also going to be so I'm really excited and um, yes yeah, so I wanted to come on here and show you guys how to do this it's gonna be the first time in a very long time that I'm playing with this so uh, we're gonna learn together and I'm gonna show you how to achieve a nice flawless base with this AirPod compressor. So here is my Temp2 AirPod Pro. This is the handheld version. Of course, you can get the full compressor version, but this is the most convenient and their most popular gun at the moment. Perfect for traveling, perfect for personal use, perfect for clients. Um, and your vanity it's small it's compact it's rechargeable it lasts a very long time when charged I want to say like four 
hours of spray time or something which is insane because according to Sylvia the instructor if you do this correctly you only need a few seconds to do an entire face foundation which is crazy because just a few pumps take several seconds to do out of a traditional foundation bottle so right now in my airpod pro i have the empty cartridge here which is used for the little bottles that you see here however today we're not going to be using these little bottles we're going to be using an easier method which is the pre-filled airpods that you see right over here so to remove this pod it's very very easy you just hold this little button down right over here and you just pull it down and pull it out just like that and then you can choose to put the cap right back on there to put a new pod in you remove the cap like so you remove this little plug right over here and then you just give it a little pump a couple times just like that and then you just clip it right in like that now this is the on off button and then you see these little lights right over here um, this indicates the pressure level of the air gun so I'm just gonna turn this on and you see it's on the first level you can increase that to medium intensity and then the highest intensity and then back to the lowest or no that's off <laughs> there you go just like that now this little I guess lever right over here um, the lower you pull it down the higher the pressure let me turn this off to show you guys so you can pull it all the way down to increase the pressure and you'll see the little indication right over there or you can do a light pressure like that or extremely light the closer you get to the actual pod the lower the pressure so right over here for like a lighter spray all the way down for a heavier spray so you really control how much product you want to come out um, they have a few different formulas okay so the silk sphere foundation is a dewy skin finish it has 18 pre blended shades it's medium to full coverage leaves skin looking hydrated long-lasting oil-free paraben free non comedogenic hypoallergenic and it's only available in the airpods now the perfect canvas foundation the one I'll be using is a semi matte skin finish 24 ready to use or custom blendable shades sheer yet buildable coverage you also have seven silicone based adjuster shapes and then it's four times more hydrating than hyaluronic acid which is extremely important for brides people with dry skin even people with oily skin so then your skin doesn't like overcompensate and produce a lot more oil so that's key it is transfer and water resistant which is like a big bonus in my book especially for brides with their waterworks and you know we cry on our wedding days um, it's oil free paraben free fragrance free non comedogenic and hypoallergenic and then the silicone based SB foundation is luminous skin foundation so it's not like dewy but it still gives you like a healthy glow 12 custom blendable shades seven adjuster shades leave skin glowing it's long-lasting oil-free paraben free non comedogenic and hypoallergenic so my friend Kat uses the perfect canvas hydrolock foundation for her clients and her brides because it is transfer resistant and it's water resistant which is very very important I usually do that method with a manual application however it's a lot more steps so this is like one two three and you're done right so step number one I'm going to take my temp two face primer and prime my face so I'm gonna turn this back on and we went ahead and primed our face and now just using circular motions I'm going to apply this on my face. Ready? Okay. 
and that's one layer already you guys can see the coverage is already there um, this is the shade 4 which is nude in the perfect canvas formula now I'm going in with the I'm just going in with air to kind of dry this first base just apply a little more on my nose now I'm gonna go in with the second layer because I like full coverage And then anything you need to spot conceal, you could just get closer, like these little blemishes right here, and you could just apply a little more pressure. Just like that. So that's layer number two. You can choose to go into the third layer. I will. You don't have to. Let this dry. This is just air. I don't have my hand on the gun, on the trigger. I'm just going to do my neck a little. Okay, so now you can see the coverage. Um, I do know that this is a little yellow for my skin. However, I prefer that. I like a more yellow base because I'm a yellow undertone. So I like it to be a bit more yellow. But of course, you can always um, create a custom color. Not with the pre-filled AirPods, but with the empty one that I did show you. Okay, so I know I said I wasn't going to use the empty pods in today's tutorial, but I kind of have to because I don't have a concealer color that is pre-filled. And that's because I forgot to grab one. So I'm just going to take the empty pod. I just took the little cap off of it. And I'm going to take this pod out, just like I showed you guys before. Put the plug back in always after every use. Go ahead and put the cap back on as well. And store this away. I'm gonna clip the empty pod in here. I'm gonna go in with the shade 2W to apply to my under eye. Mix it up real well, shake it, shake it. Apply this inside the cartridge, just like that, and then turn it on. And now, we're going to do one eye at a time, just like that. So I have really, really, really sensitive eyes, so this air is not my friend right now. Okay, so you guys can clearly see the difference. My eye is tearing on this side because I have super sensitive eyes. On a scale of 1 to 10, my eyes are about a level 45 in sensitivity. <laughs> they tear up at the smallest little thing, so that's why my eyes are currently tearing up. I'm going to do the other eye, but you can clearly see the difference in coverage, and that's just the one layer. And I'm just going to highlight the rest of my face. And now I have coverage in my under eyes. Just going to let that dry and decide if I want to go in with a second layer or not. Okay, so this color is oxidizing a little bit too dark for me. So we can fix it, no problem. I'm just going to take the, this is how you clean this empty AirPod. You pour some of this SB Airbrush Cleaner into the little compartment, just like that. And you take a brush, never a Q-tip. You take a brush, you swirl that around to get all the product out of that little hole. They sell this little guy, or you don't need this. You can always just use a cup with a tissue inside of it, and you just spray this out. 
all the way until there's no product left. Hear that? That's the product finishing. Do it one more time. Pour some SB in there. Swirl it. And spray. And you're done cleaning. Now if we were deep cleaning this, I would pour some rubbing alcohol in there and swish that through also or spray that through also. But we're not deep cleaning yet because we have to go in with another color. This is the shade 1N Porcelain. And I'm just going to pour this in. And there we go. It's a little brighter. Just like that. I know it looks super, super bright, but it's going to dry down a little. And get darker. I'm just drying this up with the air only. I know it looks a little bit yellow on camera, but in person, it's an exact match. To be honest, I think I just forgot to white balance my camera. And uh, that's why it looks like that. So just for future reference, I'll know that I am a shade four in the Hydrolock foundation, in the Perfect Canvas foundation. And then for my highlight area, I am a 1N porcelain. So I have to put that on the side so I remember that. Um, the thing I like about this foundation is I can already see that it's setting itself. Like you don't need to set it. It's, it does that all on its own. Remove that. And I will be going in with my contour. This is the perfect canvas in the shade caramel. So this is the same thing as the foundation. It's pre-filled. To do my contour, I just fold up a paper towel just like that and I place it where I want my contour and that's because I want a really sharp contour. And then I just first spray, oops, spray the paper towel and now see how it gives me that really sharp contour? That's what I like. Contour the temples forehead, this area here, cheeks, you see that sharp, sharp contour, that's exactly what I like. Now, if this is too intense for you, which I did go a tad bit intense, so I can show you how you guys can fix this, just pop that back out and go back in with your foundation pod because airbrush is very, very forgiving. You can layer and it's not gonna look cakey or anything. And just go over it. See that? Softens it. Just like that. So now you still have a sharp contour, but it's not as intense as before. Now I'm going in with my highlight. This is in the shade Champagne. This is also the pre-filled pods. Now watch. First I gotta test this out. You guys see that glow? 
like to take it to my temples just like that you see that beautiful glow look at that and of course because I'm talking through it this is taking longer but normally it's like one two three and done I don't know what shade I think I like this peachy shade better let's try them both and see which one is good there you go got my blush on so one more thing that I'm going to add on my face is because I like that really beaming highlight this is the SB white shimmer color this does not come in a pre-filled AirPod, which is why I'm going to add this onto my face. Just need my empty cartridge again. Just gonna shake this baby up for a few drops into the compartment. And you guys are gonna see this highlight right now. Do you see that? That's what I like. Just like that now that looks great the one thing that I do not do with airbrush is my nose contour and that is only because I have very sensitive eyes so when I put the air gun right over here it starts to really make my eyes tear up and I don't like that feeling <laughs> so I'm gonna do that manually and then I'll be right back okay so I went ahead and filled in my brows I did my mascara and I contoured my nose and I am back now. This is the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lip color and we'll be done with it. My lip color is the shade Soft Touch Matte Lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna use my Stone Lip Liner by MAC. And for my gloss, I'll be going in with my Huda Beauty Lip Strobe in the shade Ritzy. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I wanted to get on here and show you guys how I use the Temp2 Air Gun and the AirPods since I was questioned a whole lot on my Instagram post. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you guys learned something new. I highly, highly recommend this product and this air gun. I can't wait to learn even more about the airbrush and how to properly use this gun so I can relay it to you guys. And uh, yeah, as always, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And go ahead and turn on the bell notifications. So you guys are notified every time I upload a new video. And if you're not following me already, please go ahead and follow me on all my other social media outlets. I have Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All of that is at Makeup by Allah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I love you all so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.